Hey guys, welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today I want to take a look at a video of a vehicle that was built by Crazy House Performance that will destroy my 1320. Welcome back to Destroyer 1320. Today I wanted to show you this little build that the guys from Crazy House Performance built. This is one of the gentlemen here. I believe his name is Tyler. And he's one of the creators of this vehicle. Now they purchased it from a junkyard. They bought a 5.7 from a junkyard. The trance, the rear end, everything was junkyard bought parts that they just went through. And they may have added a little bit of boost to it. To see more, you can go to Crazy House Customs uh, Performance on YouTube. They have a, their own YouTube page. They have a Facebook page. These guys are really cool. I've chatted back and forth with them on YouTube and told them I wanted to make this video to help get a little more publicity for this amazing machine they've built. And by the way, the 1320 doesn't have a chance against this thing, which is strange because it cost maybe a quarter of what the 1320 did. Now, hours of labor, these guys have busted their butts to get this thing done. But here, let me kick this thing on. Let's start taking a look at it. I'll leave a link to this full video down below. Now, this is a 5.7 liter Hemi with twin turbos that they bought off eBay. So just want to kind of give you a little heads up here before this thing makes its first rip on 45% boost. Trust me, this thing's nasty.
let that boost kick in. Ten thirty two, the first test pass. Uh, the fastest thirteen twenty we have right now is an eleven three. Ouch. Well, stock built ones have gone in the in the tens, but still not that fast. And and there's more to come here. Let me skip forward just a little bit because I don't want to ruin their whole entire video. Make sure you go to their site on YouTube and watch this entire video. I'll go ahead and skip forward. You have to see what this thing can run. Gotta say, that's a pretty sharp looking truck. Uh, probably need a cage, boys. Yeah, you start hitting 990s, you hit under 10s, you got to have a cage, a uh, certified cage, or they can kick you off. Some tracks are, are cool enough. It looked like these guys didn't give them too much crap about it. That's booking. And they still haven't turned it up. There's a little bit more for them to go. This thing is bananas. I'm just in awe at what they've done with a 5.7. Crazy. This pass is why I wanted to make this video and try to get a little more publicity for these guys as a Mopar man. And I know all of us uh, that are Mopar fans, this stuff here is just, wow, bananas. It's good to see someone playing with it. And like it says on the windshield, it's not an LS, finally. It's awesome. Here we go. And the chassis is not certified, so probably the end of the day there. <laughs> I'll let you go there to watch the rest of the video. I had to make this though. That is so amazing. That's crazy. Now I have to say, uh, Brett from, from PFI Speed, that's where I saw this truck first was on PFI Speed. I don't know if you watch them, but if you don't, check them out as well. Uh, he helped tune this thing to what it runs now. It's bananas, I won't give away any numbers. I do have a question for the guys at Crazy House Performance. I wanted to figure out what rear gear they're running and what type of rear suspension, because on a truck for it to hook like it does there, it's pretty impressive. So I don't know if they've upgraded springs or something like that, but man, that is a ripper. So anyway, I wanted to share this with you guys. Mopar, no car. Love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. We'll see you next time.